guys, I've got a really cool video for you today. Uh, it's a blast from the past. About three years ago, uh, me and my dad, we undertook a big project and we did a big brake kit on his 2016 F10 550i xDrive. We took the braking system off of a X5M. The calipers were off of an E70 generation X5M and the rotors were from an F85 X5M. My dad typically doesn't like to start projects, but when he does do projects, he typically goes all out. When we undertook this project, we thought the car would be pretty decent shape as it had 55-ish thousand kilometers. We ended up finding that it had quite a bit of cosmetic damage that we didn't like underneath. And so we ended up going all out, uh, getting new fender liners. We got new um, brake shields and a couple other parts and uh, we did a really thorough cleaning on that car. We only did the front end on that car, and once we were done the front end, the back end just looked so bad by comparison. It actually was shameful. Uh, all the photos that we would take of it were really the front because that's where the party was at. It was, it was really an awesome, awesome uh, car on that end. We really took our time with this project. We, uh, it took us about two months to get it done. Um, Price-wise, um, it wasn't cheap. Uh, that's because we got a lot of the more expensive parts uh, when we were doing this. You can expect to pay about a thousand bucks for a set of the calipers uh, for this this conversion. Um, the rotors themselves will run you about 600 bucks for the cheaper ones, thousand bucks for the more expensive pair. Uh, the drilled ones look really pretty, but you don't necessarily need them. They don't give you any performance benefit at all. So. It's kind of up to you on that end. Although factory, the braking system on the F10 and F13 50Is are really powerful, you'd be really surprised how much stronger the car's brakes felt after we did the upgrade. It was like on off switch. It was really, really strong, uh, really confidence inspiring. It was really worth the hard work we put into it. So I'm going to start you guys off with a time lapse of me taking apart the car and the rest of the video will guide you along. Enjoy.